Hi, my name is Justin Matthew and I am the district leader for Takuma. One fun fact about myself is I actually like big band music. Today for our morning devotionals, we will be looking at the story of Jonah. The story goes that God made an urgent and directional call to Jonah. Arise, go to that wicked and evil city, Nineveh. Jonah found the request to be quite a difficult one. Why should the people be extended grace from God? You see, God is a God of second chances and sometimes we are like Jonah. When we are on that short side of obedience, we want that grace. However, when others are on that short side of obedience, we want them to be punished. So Jonah did what any of us would have done. He ran. He wanted to see how far he could have gotten away from God. So instead of going up and rising to the call, he went down. Jonah went down to Joppa. He found a ship, headed for Tarshish, hired it, and went down into it just to get away from the presence of God. But God sent a great storm. The men on the ship were fearful for their lives. And Jonah knew that a storm was because of his choices when he ran away from God. He then asked them to throw him overboard. The raging sea stopped and the winds hushed. Then God prepared a big fish to swallow Jonah. Today, we don't have to hire a ship to head to Tarshish just to escape God. No, we don't have to do that. We just simply... We are a generation that is married to escape, hypnotized and spellbound by these devices to escape life's reality and sometimes God's call. Trials with God is better than ease without Him. For Jonah, Nineveh with God was easier than Tarshish without Him. Jonah stayed three days and three nights in the belly of the fish. During this time, he prayed, he asked God for mercy, and he repented. The fish vomited him out on dry land right where he was supposed to go initially. And you guessed it, Nineveh. God has an interesting sense of humor. God's call to Jonah was to arise, go to Nineveh. Instead, Jonah went down. Today, I'm asking you, what will your answer be or your choice be when God has called you? I'll invite you to have a short word of prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for life and the opportunity to serve you, Lord. I pray that we will commit our lives to you daily so that we can go boldly for you each and every single day, no matter where we are or the circumstance, Lord. I pray that this gospel will be preached throughout the world. In Jesus' precious and holy name, amen and amen.